Hello, class 5-1, Orange Group, Mr. Waterman here with the period 4 language arts lesson on Tuesday, April 13th, 2021. I hope you all are safe and well and have had a good morning studying so far. Let's continue. So we're going to have a little bit of a writing assignment today for today's activity. Uh, we are going to start by looking at the first theme in our textbook, which is titled Amazing Animals. Okay. And to go along with that, there is an animal song. Well, more like a poem that I'm going to read because I wouldn't dare scare you with my terrible, terrible singing voice. So I will just read it. And if you want to sing it, please feel free to sing it as I'm reading. Or Feel free to just read along. The Animal Song Alligator, Hedgehog, Anteater, Bear, Rattlesnake, Buffalo, Anaconda, Hare, Mud Turtle, Whale, Glow Worm, Bat, Salamander, Snail, and Maltese, Cat, Pole Cat, Dog, Wild Otter, Rat, Pelican, Hog, Do, do, and bat. Mm, this is by an anonymous person, so we don't know who that person is. It's just a mystery. How many of these animals have you heard of? Have you heard of all of these animals? Have you heard of most of these animals? Have you heard of some of these animals? If you have, tell me which ones you've heard of. Let's turn the page. Do you know what this lovely animal is? These are one of my favorites. I used to teach about this animal when I was in grade three, a grade three teacher. So now we're going to look at our theme connections and we are going to read this piece called Amazing Animals with Joseph Bruchok. He says, Hello, my friends. Isn't it fun to watch animals? Sometimes they do things that amaze us. Here is a poem about my dog, Tony, who found some new friends in our backyard pond. What's amazing about that? You'll see. Here's Tony. Is it Tony cute? What kind of dog is Tony? Moving along to the next page. Let's begin reading our poem. Please listen very carefully and please read along. Frog Dog. Our poodle likes to play with frogs. She doesn't like to swim. The frogs leap right out to her as if to invite her in. She waits beside our garden pond for hours every day. We shake our heads and wonder why those frogs behave that way. She barks and barks when they're not there as if she wants to say, Come on, you guys, I'm waiting. This puppy's here to play. She never tries to chase a cat. She wouldn't dream of biting. Most poodles are too dignified to ever think of fighting. But frogs, now that's another thing. And if my words you doubt, just come down to our garden pond and watch the frogs hop out. 
That was a lovely poem, wasn't it? Very exciting about Tony the Poodle. Let's see what else happens. I couldn't believe it when I first saw Tony and the frogs. If you keep your eyes open, you may see animals do amazing things. I'm sure you'll meet some amazing animals in this theme too. Enjoy. As we continue with our theme connections, animals can be amazing. Joseph Bruchak thinks that his dog, Tony, is amazing. What amazing things have you seen an animal do? You will read about many animals in this theme. As you read, think about what makes each animal amazing. Then you can decide which animal is the most amazing of all. So again, here are some of the titles of some of the stories we're going to be reading in semester one. Not going to take that away. And now I am going to use my classroom notebook. I'm going to set that right here. We're going to use notebook paper at home. Remember, I download, I uploaded the notebook paper link for you the other day. I'm going to use my classroom notebook. And I'm just going to move this back just a bit. Move this up just a bit. So I'm on page one. I'm going to keep that clear because when you come to school, this is where you're going to write the class rules. When you come to school. So I'm going to leave page one for that. And I'm actually going to be working on page number two. Okay. And my title for this activity is going to be What Amazing Things Have You Seen an animal do? Okay, so that's the title for this writing activity. I would like you all to answer that question. So I'm going to do a little bit of my example with you so you can get an idea of how I would like you to answer a question like this. Okay, and I'm going to tell you a true story. This really did happen. I had a cat named Tim Tam. He was a Russian blue. Okay, I'll move this up so you can see a little bit better. He was very smart. He always greeted me at the door
when I came home. From school. Uh oh. Mr. Valens, this is just to let you know that I didn't need to make an announcement. So it's an announcement that I didn't need to make an announcement. Thanks, Mike. And thank you for that, Mr. Monis. So now you can hear Mr. Monis on our video. All right. So now let's continue. Um, so he would greet me at the door when I came home from school. As soon as I as soon as he heard me come off of the elevator and he heard my footsteps going towards my door, I would open the door with my key and there he was. It gets better. At night, he would Jump on the bed. He always took his paws, moved the blanket. back and he would sleep on the pillow next to me under The blanket. He slept like a person. Okay, so I'm going into detail and I'm telling you exactly what this animal did. Okay, he was also my pet, a pet that I loved very much, and I can go on and on. Tim Tam liked playing fetch. I thought he was a dog trapped in a cat's body. Every time I threw his toy, he would run and pick it up in his mouth. After that, he would bring it back to me. Okay, so now I have answered this question in about two paragraphs. Okay, I'm going to finish it up. Tim Tam was the most amazing cat I have ever had. 
And there you have it. I've answered this question in about two paragraphs. I would like to see how well you answered this question. What amazing things have you seen an animal do? Please use the notebook paper that I have uploaded. Please answer this question in a few paragraphs just like this. In complete sentences, feel free to write more than two paragraphs. As you are grade five students now, I think many of you are able to write a full page. You can answer one of these questions on the full page. After you've finished, please either upload it to Class Dojo if you're on, or email it to me. Emailing it to me is great because I can print it off and then I make the corrections and I will give you your feedback when you come to school next week. That's it for this lesson. If you have any questions, feel free to email Mr. Waterman or send me a message on Class Dojo at any time. Have fun with this activity. Take care, stay safe and well, and enjoy the rest of your day studying. Bye-bye for now.